Hello friends, I'm Simran Naram. I'm a health, weight loss and a lifestyle coach. So today we are going to talk about millets. 2023 is the year of millets and why not? It should be. In fact, all the years now should be year of the millets. Here I'm going to share the benefits of each millet. So just watch on till the end. So everyone is talking millets. There are plenty of varieties available in the market. And when I go to buy it, definitely meet people asking me like, what do you, what do you really do with them and how do you use them? Some find it to elaborate, like cooking them as uh, there is washing, there is soaking, roasting and grinding. But when we want to integrate good health and want to reverse diseases, a little effort goes a long way. I'm sure you agree. So here I have shopped for five different kinds of millets. Yeah, these are my complete millets that I have shopped for and uh, like uh, Kodo millet, Little millet, Brown Top millet, Barnyard and Foxtail millet. Now each of these has its own importance and there are a number of recipes that are available that you can enjoy making with them and I too will be sharing in my forthcoming videos on how to cook with millets. So instead of rice and wheat that have hardly any fiber, these millets contain a very good percentage of fiber. So fiber that keeps you feeling full for long. It helps in getting rid of constipation. It helps in weight loss. It helps in the reversal of several lifestyle diseases such as thyroid, diabetes, blood pressure, uh, helps control your cholesterol levels and manage blood sugar as well. So it is good for the farmers too as millets can be cultivated on all types of soil and uh, no pesticides are required. One important factor or you can take it as a tip to remember is wash the millets very well until like it's really clean. The water should be really clean on top once you have washed it. And definitely remember to soak millets at least 6 to 8 hours for maximum benefits before you cook them. Millets are... Uh, gluten free means that is it's easy to digest and it does not bloat you up. Uh, gluten is a protein found in wheat, barley, rye that uh, it is not there in millets and hence it is a much better option. Uh, now millets have a low glycemic index as well so it helps you to control your weight uh, by minimizing spikes in your blood sugar and insulin levels. So good, so it's a good source of antioxidants. It helps in uh, uh, to maintain weight loss and it helps in maintaining a healthy cut as well as it is rich in minerals. So if you compare millets to uh, rice, millets has eight times more fiber than rice. It has two times more protein and four times more iron and two times lesser carbs and fat as compared to rice. So you decide which is a better option. In short, I will tell you a bit about these and uh, also uh, let me tell you that cooking in mud pots rather than in any other vessel is best uh, for the nutritional value as well. Now foxtail millet, foxtail millet is also called as kangani in Hindi and tenai in Tamil and it is good for people with nerve problems or people who have joint problems and it has a high a fiber percentage of about 8% as compared to rice or wheat that has negligible fiber. Next is the little millet. The little millet also called as kutki or sami, samul and it comes in category of positive grains that has around 9% fiber and it is good for anyone who has a hormonal imbalance such as PCOD, thyroid and um, that are caused by hormonal uh, imbalances in the body. It is a good substitute for rice also and uh, you can have lentils or curds and it tastes really good with this. Next is the barnyard millet which is also called as sama rice or swank in Hindi and it contains around 10% fiber. So people uh, who are anemic or have low HP can incorporate this millet in different forms. Uh, barnyard millet also contains iron and zinc. It is good for making idli to, uh, idlis and it can be an awesome substitute for rice as well. Next is the uh, kodo millet. Kodo millet is also called as the Himalayan millet or cow grass or kodra and it contains around 9% fiber. This is also uh, good like barnyard millet for people uh, whose blood count is less, uh, they have low HP, less immunity. Uh, and it helps people with uh, who have like heavy menstrual flow, cramps 
and ha it has antioxidant properties also so good substitute for rice as well and you can make dosas idlis and many tibbles for, are prepared with kodo millet last is the brown top millet brown top millet is also called hari kangani it is said to be the best millet in terms of high content of fiber of almost 12 or 12.5 percent and it's said to have anti-cancerous properties as well uh, so it helps you to control the bp it helps in easing constipation and also helps in detoxification so hope this video was useful to you do subscribe to my channel and share this video with as many so that they can introduce millets in their daily lifestyle if this video was useful share it with your loved ones so that it might just help so till the next time stay safe stay healthy and yes don't lead a sedentary lifestyle